Welcome to the fourth video in our ORB onboarding series. By this point, you should be familiar with the setup, the live scanner, and even the two different strategies. Now we're going to get into some back testing. How can you validate uh, strategies? How can you test different permutations with historical data to be better prepared? This is video number four in our six video series, so just two more to go. Now the whole idea around back testing it's not to try and predict what we think it's going to happen. Rather, it's to add conviction in every single trade signal. You'll see that every single trade signal has that 90 day backtest that's linked. And we took a look at what that looked like. Here's a live example of a backtest. This was inside of Exelon. Every single backtest will give you some key stats to help not only understand is the strategy probable? Is the strategy profitable? What's its ROI? What do the average winners look like? What do the average losers look like? And the strategy's net PL. Another thing to pay attention to is this graph right here, the PL over time. We want to make sure that there weren't extended drawdown periods, periods in which you had to deal with heat. If you scroll down the page, you'll also be able to see things like a long versus short breakdown, and then an individual trade transparency. So there's a lot of different information that lets you account for different market conditions, different trends, different volatility spikes. You can find average versus non-average range trades. There's lots of data here to be statistically meaningful. Now there's two ways to access the back tester. The first way, which I already showed you, is via the live scanner. So if, for example, I click the back test for KOS here, if I click that, it will load the back test for KOS. So that's the first way. The second way is by clicking Backtester directly in the navigation menu panel, and that will then take you to this blank Backtester screen where you can type in a symbol, choose whichever range you want to test, whichever strategy, and then start to dive deeper into the data from there. So two different ways that you can get to the Backtester depending on if you have an idea of what you want to test versus if you're going in with an open mind. Now inside of the backtester, there's some key performance metrics. I already talked about the main ones you want to pay attention to. If your eyes need to scan something quickly, it's first the win rate, the trade expectancy, and then I take a look at the strategy PL along with this graph right here, making sure for the most part, we see it going from the bottom left corner to the top right corner. That's the overall direction that we're looking for. The next thing I like to take a look at is the individual trade transparency here trying to see, okay, well, trades in which uh, they were, say, X minutes long, what tended to happen? The fast trades versus the shorter trades versus the medium trades. For ones that are on the scanner a little bit longer, you might be looking at trades which have longer trade duration. Do those tend to hit their targets more? Do they tend to hit their stops more? There's lots of ways that you can splice and dice the data, and you can also copy and paste this into Excel to try and analyze a little bit deeper. Now, one thing I want to call out is the fear, worry of over-optimization. It's so, so easy to go down the road of over-optimizing, whether it's to try and find perfect trades in which you have 100%, 90% win rates, but really all that's doing is curve fitting and trying to form a lot more to the recent historical price action, layering in so much recency bias there. If you ignore drawdowns, if you don't look at the graph from left to right, but instead the graph might have periods in which the PL has dipped below, most traders can't really sit through that. So having a realistic idea is what the back tester gives you, a realistic idea of the strategy about its performance and whether or not its performance is something you can get to. Now, along with the back tester, we also have reports built inside of the platform. These reports are, in essence, very quick back tests that are pre-built, ready to go for you. They have four different splices in which I like to analyze data, and these are updated every single week. Think of it as a quick way to know what's working right now and what's not. We can see strategy performance to see both the breakdown of the three different ranges, 5, 15, and 30, along with the two different strategies for each range. This tells you what's working right now versus what's not. The next thing I look to look at is the symbol profitability. This helps me see which are some of the symbols leading the way right now. Usually you'll find the more expensive names at the top, but the few times you find names that are not as expensive, more towards the top end of this, are symbols that you want to pay attention to. 
After that is the time-based analysis in which you get to see not only day of week performance, but also hour of day performance to see when do these trades work better compared to other times. And finally, a directional bias to know which way is the market trending long versus short. This directional bias is also useful when the market might be switching trends and you'll see that one direction starts to become a little bit more profitable, showing you that very clear switch between bulls and bears. That will look like where this PL for say the short side flips and the long side goes negative, telling you that now it's really the short side setups that are leading the way and the momentum is now to the short side. Lots of ways that you can just keep track of that quite easily gives you an idea very clearly of what is the current bias. And in both cases right now, our bias is to the long side. This reporting feature is a quick way to see what's working right now every single weekend and adapt your strategies to whatever the symbols might be. For those of you that are scalpers, this five minute range, it's really easy using the reporting feature to start to see exactly which symbols you might want to have some orders in ahead of time. Orders in that you set before the markets even opened where you know that five minute breakout is one that's quite profitable. So that's how I use the reports along with the back tester. Both of these features are there to help you build conviction in trade ideas and prepare and plan every single weekend. In our next video, we'll break down how to customize this platform now for your different trading style now that you're starting to get a good feel for how the platform works, the live scanner, where all of the stats come from, what the stats represent, and how you can quickly see an aggregate view of these stats every single week.